One of the keys to a consistent golf swing, in my opinion, particularly for amateur golfers who only get the chance to play sort of once a week, maybe practice once a week, is to create a solid backswing position. One of the things I'm always working on with a lot of my online students is to try and create good arm structure in the backswing, so that it gives you a much better chance of sequencing a good downswing. And the biggest problem that I tend to encounter is actually a regripping, and it really goes unnoticed. So when I tend to do an analysis of a student's swing, and I kind of say, look, Generally speaking, things are looking pretty good, but your kind of arm structure isn't quite so good in the backswing position. It often surprises them that it's related to an actual grip issue. So first of all, what are we looking for? Well, in my opinion, when it comes to the backswing position, one of the things that we're fundamentally really looking for, and what I mean by a good arm structure, is I would try and get your lead arm roughly operating through your shoulder line, and then your right forearm can operate perpendicular to that. So you'd end up looking something like so in the backswing position. A big key thing as well though is when we're in this position, one, club shaft, you wanna kind of keep it. So if you imagine this was extending, there was an extender coming out the bottom end of the club, it's pointing down towards my target line because then you can just drop the club down on plane. But also width is a big one. So we don't wanna get the hands and arms operating too close towards the body in the backswing position because it can often promote casting motions in the start of the downswing. So how do you really get width? Well, if you did some swings lead hand only, what you would find, and again, a lot of my students feel this, is that it's really liberating in the downswing. So if I sort of just move my chest through the ball, it feels like I'm propelling my left arm off my chest and it feels very natural and really good. But what happens is when we do this, similar to what I'm demonstrating here, is that your lead arm will tend to fold. And the reason for that is there's just not enough force going through. And that's where your trail hand really comes into it in the backswing position. And in particular, what you're trying to do is get your right palm applying a pressure onto your left thumb to almost feel like it's helping you push the club away and push the hands into a really good position. So this is what I would tend to suggest for you. And this is again, something that I work with a lot of my students. Get yourself set up, okay? And what I want you to do is I want you to just keep your lead hand on the club, take your trail hand off, and just sort of retract your right arm up into the air into a position that would feel pretty comfortable. So you tend to find, like if you're gonna do some right hand only swings, and then get your left hand to join, and that's where you wanna be. You'll tend to find biomechanically, people won't tend to do this type of position. Yeah, you'll tend to find naturally that this arm will wanna try and stay straight. So I think just heightening that awareness for where you're trying to get your hands to in the back swing will massively improve things. So again, doing some of those swings, you'll find naturally that you won't wanna be inclined to get it too close. You'll do it nice and wide, and then use that right hand to keep that left arm into that position. And like I said, it's gonna give you a really good chance in the downswing. So the big thing that you're trying to avoid that can ruin your swing ultimately is that if your hands get too close towards your body. And the way you're gonna stop that is again, by using the right part to apply pressure to the left thumb to keep the hands away from the body. That's gonna give you a nice wide, swing arc give you plenty of distance and most importantly just give you a really solid backswing which is going to lend itself to an easier downswing every time see you guys again really soon